in 10 weeks, we'll all be able to play Farming Simulator 25, but until then, we have to make do with blog posts and fact sheets. In today's blog post, we get a small preview of one of the new animals coming to the game in Water Buffalo. The Water Buffalo will join our cow, sheep, chicken, pigs, horses, and now also new to the game, goats. While today's blog post does not go into a whole lot of detail, which is a little disappointing, for me at least, because we do not learn about how to care for the water buffalo with respect to feeding needs and such, but what we do get are several images of the buffalo with respect to their various growth stages. I think most of us would associate these animals with having a native habitat in a faraway place like Southeast Asia, where it's hot and humid, which would be correct as they are a bit more suited to those environments than say our classic black and white Holsteins. The buffalo produce a milk which is high in fat, protein, and other minerals, making it ideal for some of the new productions like a buffalo milk packing facility and mozzarella cheese. We do learn that water buffalo are fully mature at 18 months, similar to our cows in FS22, and at that point they will start producing milk, as well as reaching that important point of being able to breed for the sake of growing the herd. Just like with FS22, will have the choice of picking up young buffalo or mature buffalo from the dealer with some interesting wording in the blog post. Let me read it to you and I quote, she can also give you some more information on how water buffalo are properly handled on your farm. Is this literary license being applied to the help text that might appear in the animal buying screen with respect to the basic care information or could this be taken a little bit more literally and that we'll be able to interact with the animal dealer NPC directly. Also, earlier in the blog post, there is a section talking about how not only buffalo, but other grass-eating animals, and I quote, your fields of grass will be cut by grazing livestock. Could this again be some literary license taken with the words, or would we see something like the graze mod from FS22 as a standard feature? Could this just be visual and that we'll see spots of the pasture cut down by grazing sheep, cows, horses, goats, and buffalo? I guess we'll just have to wait 10 more weeks to find out for ourselves. Lastly, for those of you who are interested in the development side of the house, we have a short interview with Roman Pili Pinko, the lead character artist who worked on bringing the newest animals to the FS franchise in-game. Big shout out to those of you who are artistic enough to do this kind of thing because that's not me. Now the general process goes from studying real animals and how they behave and move and also studying their anatomy. How are they put together? Where are their joints? Muscles? And then a high poly model is created, according to Roman. Once this high poly model is set up, well they go and create a low poly model and then features from the high poly model are baked into the low poly version which at this time, textures are applied. And I don't know about you, but the composite texture file is a little bit freaky, if you ask me. After which, the final step is likely the most important, animation. After all, if you've got a beautiful model with painstaking detail in the textures, but it does not move right, then do you really wanna use it? No. You want your animals to freely move about in a natural way while also interjecting some perceived personalities so they don't just feel like lifeless automatons. Are you looking for more Farming Simulator 25 news? Then check out my news playlist down in the description below. If the prospect of having your own herd of buffalo in game has you all worked up, then why not pre-order? PC players can use my affiliate link in the description or my partner code FarmerKline on the Giants eShop to pick up your own copy and be ready to go on November 12th. Those looking for physical copies can use my Amazon affiliate link also in the description to pick up the physical collector's edition for PC as well as a physical standard PC edition and versions for Xbox and PlayStation. If you've not subscribed, I would be most honored if you could subscribe as I hope to break the 50k barrier before FS25's release in 10 weeks. I'd love to see your name on top of Grey Coast, who is the most recent subscriber as of the writing for this video. Like the video and by all means, 
feel free to share the video with anyone you think that would be interested in the upcoming release of Farming Simulator 25. Until next time, happy farming.